it's Barry and Jason. We are game inventors. Creators of fun like Game Night in a Can, OK Genius, Scribble Hips, and a whole bunch more. And we're so excited to be invited into the Ellen family to share with you our new show, The Best Games for Blank. Got an occasion? We got a game for you. And today, The Best Games for Kids Birthday Parties. Barry? Jason? Kids love two things, balloons yep. and saying the word butt. But. So now we're gonna play Balloony Butt Baseball. Yes! So first you need balloons mm -hmm. tied with string and a bunch of balls of paper, a line on the ground, and here we go. There, there it we is. Go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He's back, baby. Make it a winner. <laughs> Barry, what is something that all kids love to do? Make funny faces, mm -hmm. disguises, mm -hmm. and also be the star of their own birthday party. So here's what you do for the masters of disguise. You are going to print out a photo of your child. Everyone gets the photo and a marker, oh, and give them like five minutes to create a funny face, a disguise, Everybody hands them in, and then the birthday kid gets to pick their favorite. Bada boom, it's easy, it's funny, it's silly, everybody loves it. Now, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Everybody here already did a disguise for your face. Surprise! You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, looking good so far. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm an old pirate. Mm -hmm. I like that they added some wrinkles to my forehead as well. Mm -hmm. This sure. one, I've got a, a nice little derby hat, some good earrings. I think I'm a rabbit with a little snake tattoo on my neck. I've got a mom tattoo and a ga and it just says gangster on my neck. I like now the, that's gangster. I like the recurring theme of neck tattoos for Barry. <laughs> How fun is this? After your kid has his face defaced, or her face defaced, they can put these all over their room. You got something for us? Yes, this is a game called High Flyers. Kids love paper airplanes, but not all of them know how to fold the perfect one. Mm. It's really easy. Here we go. Teach us. So you start by folding your paper in half. Okay. And then you're gonna fold down the corners like this. Okay. Do yes. Twice. I fold it over like this again, Easy. and then switch the other side, fold that down again, and then you're gonna do it one more time. Down again. And then what do we do with these planes? To turn this STEM activity into a STEAM activity, you just add a little bit of artwork. Have the kids design on their plane. My daughter did this one. Once you have your beautifully folded plane, you can line the kids up and see who can throw it the farthest, as well as who is most accurate by placing something in the room and see who gets closest to that thing. Ready? We going for accuracy? Accuracy right here. Love it. So you've piloted paper airplanes, you made some silly faces, and you hit a lot of home runs at balloony butt baseball. And now it's time for a new twist on a classic game of headbands. Headbands also has headbands light speed, which is a very fun game to play at a kid's birthday party because everybody can participate at once. I'm gonna push the headbands button. It's moving and I can only say three things, okay. Raw fish food. Sushi. Yep. Nice. Another one. Keep it going. Oh, shoot. Keep it going. Yep. Uh, lettuce, tomato, bun. Hamburger? Yep. Oh. Okay, now you can ask questions. Am I an animal? No. Am I a food? No. Am I a thing? Yes. Okay. Uh, too late. Now I can say three things about it. Mm -hmm. um, music, tickle, ivory. Oh, piano. Yep. I yep. hit the timer. Yep. Uh, three clues. Large, animal. Whale. Uh, elephant. Uh, uh, buffalo. Thick. Hippo? Hey, that counts. We got that point, right? That counts. <laughs> so we played a lot of silly games that you can play at birthday parties, but for us, Headbands is the, the best, best game, game for kids' birthday, birthday parties. parties.